Yes, it's another Vonalog. And, um, oh man, this morning I just woke up and cramp in my right calf. Ow, 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 the pain. And it wasn't just one of those small ones that went away. No, 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 no. I moved and it came back with a vengeance. My God, I, I was in such pain. Because I know why. It's because I don't stretch enough and I ride a bicycle every day. Yesterday I didn't ride my bicycle at all because um, I was uh, spending all my day doing, uh, putting, inputting my uh, contacts from my old phone into my new wonderful uh, brand spanking new iPod 3GS 35 gig phone thing, uh, thingamajig kind of uh, device. I didn't get a bike ride in yesterday and I paid for it this morning with, of course, since I didn't, don't do enough stretching with this incredible uh, cramp. And now, of course, this has got me thinking about uh, bicycle riding and traffic and, um, well, here's the thing. I have a bone to pick with, uh, I have a theory that it has something to do with, uh, with a, a certain aspect of Asian culture, and I'm not trying to 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 to, uh, to knock Asian culture or some whether whatever that is. I mean, the Japanese culture or or, or uh, cultures that are derivative of various Asian cultures. You know, you're in a city and you're riding your bicycle, as I do. And I used to live in Osaka before I lived here, obviously. As some of you might know, I lived in Osaka. And I noticed this when I was uh, either riding my bicycle, I had rollerblades, or I was walking anytime. I'm this big person walking in this sea of people. And it looks like, you know, there's there's thousands upon thousands of people. And there's they, they seem to be fine. Negotiating, they don't bump into each other, but for some reason they're always bumping into me, and I don't understand. Or I'm bumping into them, or they're unable to get out of my way. Somehow I'm this odd thing there that, that, that disrupts their little zen-like trance that they're in as they go, as they go weaving in and out through the, the this this milieu, which is which is the incredible uh, train stations and shopping centers of, 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 of downtown Osaka, Tokyo, uh, many of the other places that I've experienced this. And I do experience somewhat a certain type of thing like that here in Honolulu. Anyway, I have this theory, okay? I have this theory that um, thousands upon thousands of years ago, uh, when travelers would meet each other, they went through these rituals of greeting and determining who was um, was the higher ranking individual. And of course, in Japan, very, very hierarchical culture with, you know, you, who, who's, the, who's the highest ranking person will be deferred to at all times. Now, quite often, when you approach that person, before you even um, get to them, they, you know who's the higher ranking person because how they're dressed, who they're with, all these other things, and there's all of these criteria by which you can easily judge that that's the, the, the higher ranking person and you always defer and let them pass. And super high ranking people tend to just walk through places without, uh, without regard to hitting anybody. Everybody would, just assuming that everybody will get out of their path. And however, if you meet somebody that you can't tell right away who's the higher ranking person, there's this ritual and it's part of the culture that you stop and you you offer to allow the other person to pass, and the other person says, no, I allow you to pass, and then you have to go through this ritual of finding out who they are, and what rank they are, and determine who's going to allow who to pass. Actually, I find this quite interesting and nice, because then it's a, a way in which then people will get to know each other, and so on. It's still part of the hierarchical system, so you'll really only get to know the people that are close to your rank, but you know, never mind, it's still kind of an interesting phenomenon. Anyway, that that this ritual was very, very encoded for a long, long time. And, but then as the, as the world and as 
Japan became more and more populated, it became less and less possible to do this. And so at some point, they all just kind of went into this zen-like trance in which they are somehow able to do this really quick calculation from in these large groups and not run into each other. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, unfortunately, uh, women defer to just about everybody, that um, somehow they navigate. But when you throw into the mix this big gaijin, big hairy gaijin meme uh, on a bicycle, I'm bringing this up also in, in reference to, to here because I'm starting to notice, you know, I swear, they got eyes in the back of their heads. There are these people that I keep encountering and there's very little traffic on the sidewalk. And I saw that they, they didn't look back to find out that I was there, but for somehow they're able to know that, okay, as I approach them from behind, I'm going very slowly and I just need to go by on one side or the other. Inevitably, when I start getting making that thing to go around on that side, they start veering so that I have to run into them. They veer, they start, just suddenly they decide at that moment to cross the sidewalk. And and, and 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 start walking on the other side of the sidewalk. Why? I, why they're doing this? That I, I don't know. Maybe it's in that zen-like trance that they're in, and they're just like everybody now is in a zen-like trance. I don't know, but I don't know what it is. It's the same thing that happened when I was in Japan. I, I, I think it was just that I was just such a uh, uh, like a, a monkey wrench thrown into the mix of this of this mess of, 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 of humanity that 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 I had. Uh, this effect on them that, they, that it's it discombobulated their their trance sensors so much that um, that they they it, it threw them all out of whack and almost made the the objective not avoiding people but it switched their programming from avoid people avoid people avoid people into hit the gaijin hit the gaijin hit the gaijin so that one day one day I was rollerblading in um, Namba, which is a part of uh, the, the most, one of the busiest parts of Osaka. I was on my rollerblades, I was going very, very slowly as I always do, watching for people and not and just enjoying, and I found myself um, approaching a group of businessmen, and they were all, you know, this, it's really interesting to see a group of people that are all dressed the same and all about the same size and shape and it's just very very and they were parting like like I don't know like uh, like a flock of, of birds that you're walking through in a park it's like, but there was this one who had his back to me and he was talking animatedly to his friend and so he didn't sense what everybody else was doing in time and I wasn't going fast, but I was like coming on them, and I didn't have much choice because I couldn't go left or right because there was still businessmen parting the waves in front of me. And he turned around, and the only thing I could do while I was come to a complete stop to not knock him over was to pick him up. And he was this little guy, so I, I picked him up underneath his shoulders, all the while saying, Sumi, my sensei, go on side, I'm so sorry. And I put him down. And he went. <laughs> he just went into this incredible stiff body thing, and uh, I, I, it was it was it was very very. <laughs> uh, I'm, I was very. I'm very sorry. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's got to be me, isn't it? It's it's me, isn't it? Isn't it? It's it's me. Anyway, if if you uh, hear my song, pay attention. It was inspired by. That whole experience of, of, of picking up that Japanese guy, of the, the, the traffic and the Zen like trance that, that it seems everybody is in. Uh, but only the first verse really refers to traffic, but just to let you know, that's what it is. And that's it for the monologue. See you next time. <laughs>